this is Swedish Guitar Nerd and today on Effects Explained I'm gonna talk about distortion. Probably the most common effect pedal in the world in all kinds of different variations. Let's talk about some history. Uh, the first electric guitarists uh, had uh, really no option but to play through valve or tube amplifiers. And um, they usually, or no, they only had uh, one volume control. Uh, like today you have a gain control and a mast control or whatever the company wants to call it. In other words, uh, an input level and an output level. Back then you only had the input level. The output level was at full blast. So um, the input level uh, varied the the, out, the output from the guitar into the amp. Uh, so when you turn that up, uh, what happened was that sometimes the signal got too strong, uh, and uh, it um, started to clip, and um, that noise. Uh, is what we today call distortion when the, the input section of an amp is overloaded and this was considered a bad thing and uh, something to be avoided but in the 50s or 60s and certainly in the late 60s uh, people started enjoying and uh, seeing the good things about this sound uh, for instance, uh, a James Marshall Hendrix, uh, who pioneered everything about electric guitar, uh, was starting to use this a lot and really uh, making this his sound. Uh, but for regular people uh, who didn't afford to have stacks of Marshalls, uh, you wanted this kind of sound and uh, you wanted it in a more portable way. So when transistors came along, uh, you started. They started to make uh, circuits where they can. You can actually get this effect uh, in a small stump box. Um, so a distortion box. They could look uh, something like this, or maybe something like this, or even maybe like this, uh, or whatever. Uh, I think every pedal effect maker in the world are making some or very many variations of a distortion box so yeah it's a very varied thing what you would find on a distortion box is usually uh, at least three things it's uh, the gain or distortion where you yeah control the effect how much distortion you want you have an output level uh, so you can uh, adjust uh, the volume of the pedal compared to your regular sound. And you ha usually have some kind of um, EQ. Uh, mostly some kind of uh, treble roll-off or high mid cold tone. So that's what you usually get. Uh, okay, so what does uh, distortion pedal sound like okay first uh, I'm gonna show you my guitar with just a regular clean sound so here it goes Okay, that was nice and clean and then you add the distortion box and notice how uh, of course you get the distortion sound but also how it compresses everything and it also sustains everything and also uh, there are many good things about distortion it enhances harmonics so it's easy to get squeals and harmonics out so here's the distortion pedal uh, in front of a clean amp and that's what distortion pedals are made for uh, intentionally uh, to put in front of a clean amp. So you can have a crystal clean sound and then get, go to a distorted sound. So here it is.
Uh, well, of course, you can put a distortion uh, pedal in front of a already distorted amp and uh, get a rather, yeah, for me, it's rather hard control. Uh, there are people that really like this. Kurt Cobain, for instance, uh, used to do this. Just a name, but a few. Uh, it's a very common thing. Uh, so you, I can, I will start with some uh, rhythm sounds. You can hear how it almost gets very, yeah, it gets very muddy, and uh, yeah, it's too much effect for me at least. And then I'll play some solo parts, and you can hear how it affects the sustain. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Okay, this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd uh, on Effects Explained. Today I talked about distortion. Hope you found this useful. Bye.